Hello and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Uh, it is wonderful that we can look into the Word of God, study the Word of God, apply the Word of God as believers. And, and what a great treasure that we have as um, we have in our hands the Word of God. Um, truly grateful for that. Well, in the, in the Bible and particularly in the New Testament, we see several pictures, several images that, uh, um, that seems to be like God's design for us. It is indeed God's blueprint for us. And these are pictures of how God relates to us as people and, and, and what God's expectation and desire is for His people. So this can be applied to us. It's primarily for us as uh, collectively as a people, but this can be applied to us as individuals as well. So uh, when we look at a blueprint, it is something that we can study, we can see, it is information, um, it is uh, a design that we can become into. Right. Um, one of the things that we see that God desires for us as His people is that He calls us uh, the pillar of truth. We see that uh, in 1 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 15, where Paul writes to Timothy, and he, he, he mentions the church, he describes the church and he says, this is who you are. So let's read 1 Timothy 3 and verse 15. But if I'm delayed, I write so that you may know how you ought to conduct yourself in the house of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and ground of the truth. So as believers, we are to be the pillars, which means upholders, something, a structure that holds up. So we are called to be upholders of the truth. The same uh, verse, we see that pillar and ground of the truth, uh, ground referring to the foundation and so something that is establishing or established in the truth. So God wants us as individuals to be one. He wants us to be committed and aligned to the truth. You know, as believers, we need to ask ourselves, am I committed? Are we committed and aligned to the truth of God's word? As the Lord Jesus says, thy word is truth in describing the word of God that His Word is truth. So are we committed to the truth, to speaking the truth, committed to God's Word uncompromisingly? And are we aligned to God's standard, the standard values that we see in God's Word? Secondly, we need to beware of compromising the truth because we know that this is God's standard and there could be a lot of pressure to compromise um, godly standards and uh, maybe in our workplace, maybe uh, in our schools and colleges and maybe at home, wherever, uh, there could be a lot of pressure to compromise on the truth in order to stay uh, popular or in order to be accepted by the world. Um, so we need to be convinced that God's word is the truth. We need to be convinced that whatever God's word declares on varying issues that are complex you know, uh, today, uh, about uh, gender and, and sexuality and so on, uh, we need to be convinced that God, what God's Word says is the standard and it is the truth. Um, and we should not be worried about public opinion or even swayed by public opinion or sometimes even by the message of compromising Christian leaders, uh, that we should not be swayed by those messages. Right? We need to be strong and be grounded in the truth because God calls us the pillar and ground of the truth. So in conforming ourselves to this picture, to this blueprint, um, uh, let's pray and ask the Lord to lead us further in this. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you're calling us the pillar and ground of the truth, that you're calling us as pillars of truth. Lord, even as we Lord, take our stand, Lord, based on your word, God. Uh, Lord, we pray that we will be strong, that we will not be swayed by anything that's popular, that's contrary to the word, that we will not, we will be discerning then, we will not be swayed by um, the message of, Lord, even compromising Christian leaders, God. And uh, Lord, we pray that we would stay aligned uh, and stay the course and be committed to the truth that is in your word. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.